Good morning from Maryland. So everything's closed out, all my trades that were holding over the weekend. And uh, so I have no open trades at the moment. So more closed profit uh, to start off the week. So I'm pretty happy about that, especially since I'm going to um, traveling to Iceland for vacation tomorrow. And um, I want everything to you know, be under control while, while I'm gone. And so this is a good way to start. <clears throat> so this is the uh, $12,818 account uh, from Trader's Way. And uh, this is the $1,448 from LMFX. And um, recently I, I did show that I, I re received a uh, competition bonus uh, from the competition at uh, ForexSignals.com. And uh, you can see that the current uh, competition, I'm at third place, but uh, I should be probably first uh, considering the stats that are, are being pulled right now. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate the the 29 percent point point eight seven percent is correct. I'm not sure if everybody's drawdown is is where is where it should be or if the competition's reading it right. Um, <clears throat> but I've heard rumors that uh, they're going to re be removing LMFX from the competition because of the bonus uh, that I was re received was not a withdrawable bonus from LMFX, uh, and they received a, a bit of trouble from the broker. Uh, giving the winner that actual cash reward instead of just a, a, a non-withdrawable bonus. Um, so it looks like LMFX might be removed from the actual competition, which is a little bit unfortunate. That may remove me from uh, actually participating in the in future competitions, which is a little bit unfortunate. <clears throat> it's been kind of fun to, to you know see how my system compares to, to others, or at least my performance currently. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be keeping this 1448 in here. I don't know for how long uh, until I actually have something that I can withdraw at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll probably do something about this account to try to increase its uh, account balance. Uh, right now, I've already increased the uh, the size of lots I trade on the account since it has a bit more um, trading. 0 0.2 lots at the current moment um, so that I have increased the risk per trade <coughs> on the account. This account is still trading, the LMFX is still trading about uh, two to three times more uh, risk than my other OANDA accounts, so my standard risk at 50 to 1 leverage, uh, but it's, it's still doing very well. So this is the, um, the trader's way. You can see that my current trades that I had over uh, that were closed out. So these were at the end of the session, or near near the Friday session, near the end of the Friday session, and uh, there was a, a good amount of resistance here. So you can see the the wick, the candle wicks, the inside candle right there. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can actually see this. So I was looking at the wick there, uh, wick here, inside candle setup, uh, more wicks near the top, in the size of candles up here. <clears throat> and uh, you can see my three entries. There was a, uh, although not the best inside candle set up here, but there was one just before that. And there was a reversal candle at this point. So it, uh, even though this was creeping up, there were multiple inside candle setups. One, two, three and a, re a reversal candle set up here. Although I don't take this one, it was it, it was a clear um, bearish engulfing, it had a nice wick on the top and closed lower than the opening. Uh, so this was a very nice area for a, a, a pullback and I actually did end up getting it even though it was creeping up just slightly. But uh, again, the same kind of scenario that I was talking about in my previous videos where there are multiple indications here showing a, a good potential for a for a pullback and that did happen especially with so many inside candle setups happening so close to uh, to each other um, and with no pullback that happened initially from each one of those uh, those inside candle setups and so that pullback was uh, I guess imminent to happen uh, sometime soon <clears throat> all right so no uh, no I guess setups right now uh, at the moment uh, there is uh, not a lot of price movement 
Um, I would probably prefer for this to continue up a bit and uh, then I'd be looking for another pullback on the downside. <clears throat> this would need to pull back a lot more uh, before I'd actually look at entering on the, on the uh, long side. Uh, so I'd, I would like to see more of a pullback there. But uh, from what I can see, I haven't checked out a lot of the news, but there's I don't think there's a lot of news happening today. I would expect this to continue to push up, at least test this high again. Uh, and that's just a, you know, a standard call. It's really hard to r tell what's going on. There's not a lot of price action to base the, uh, you know, where the direction may be going on, at least on the one hour or the M30 time frame. Um, but if I were to just have an idea of where the price may continue to go, I would think uh, more potential on the upside. But we'll just have to see how this, this week uh, pans out. All right. Uh, I also had a trade, uh, a couple of trades on the euro pound, <clears throat> and those ones were closed out. Just two trades, one and two. Uh, the inside candle set up on that uh, after that big push down. You can see the inside candle here, and uh, there was an entry. Not much action uh, before the close of the week, and then it did push down a little bit lower, and then clo recently closed out uh, for a small gain. Uh, about 20 or so pips, it would be a little bit less than that. So I closed it out, and that's good I did because the continued down push uh, looks like it's you know going to continue down. If it if this is pushing down, then uh, it's likely that the pound Canadian dollar will uh, will push up a bit as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad I closed out that trade, um, those two trades, and uh, took my profits uh, for today. All right, uh, so let's look at the stats on the account. <laughs> All right, uh, that's not my account. There it is. Uh, so this is the LMFX account. And you can see that the closed profit was 0.71%. Now if you go to the uh, my, my buddy Robert's account, you'll see that the closed profit was 0.26% uh, percent profit. So you can see how much r more risk I'm getting or much more profit I'm getting per trade uh, at the current risk setting on this LMFX account. So nice and steady uh, last few days of trading, uh, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and, uh, and Monday, uh, or Sunday. I guess it's Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. I don't, I don't really know because this trade was actually closed out uh, on on Monday. So t technically, you guys know how Sunday is is technically uh, the markets open at 5 p.m. So there's there's that trading night there uh, into the into the morning hours of Monday. Um, so yeah. Uh, so things are going really smoothly so far, uh, and I'm, I'm not expecting huge gaps like this. Uh, this was kind of a fluke. So, uh, yeah, so things should start looking a lot more like they were previously, and uh, steady gains uh, throughout the week and month. All right, so 133% profit on the count, and the drawdown is still manageable at 30%. Moving on to the Robert's account, the drawdown is still at 3.46% profit uh, drawdown, <clears throat> so that hasn't been exceeded yet since I started trading this account in April, uh, and that's actually an, an, an accurate number. Uh, that hasn't that that 3.46% is actually what I've received since I started trading his account. Uh, there is potential for me to take losses on this account or this strategy in general uh, if I exceed. Or, or have a drawdown in the five to upwards of maybe seven percent. Uh, it's hard to tell because of the uh, the margin. I based my uh, I guess losses on the margin of, of these accounts and how much available margin I have, and that that typically will fall in the five to seven percent range. So I could cut losses in that in that area, depending on on how the market is behaving. Uh, so far, I haven't received any drawdown larger than 3.46% on this account, and uh, we're looking at a 7.56% gain for this month so far, and we still have I still have uh, two weeks left of the month. Uh, so this is going to be a big profit uh, profiting month. It could be close to seven uh, to up upwards of 10% on this account, on which is not too shabby for a $137,000 account. <coughs> All right, my buddy Jared. Doing very well, similar profit, 2.26% 2, 
and things are, are becoming more steady and the gains there too. All right, uh, so I don't have a ton to talk about today. Uh, I know that there's been some comments on my uh, Forks Factory thread about uh, trades and how the how the the uh, users there are managing to trade my system uh, without the tools that I have. So I, you know how how I have an expert advisor and um, a close close profit EA as well. That's that's kind of managing. Uh, my trading strategy and so there are users that are trying to trade the way I do uh, with uh, their techniques a lot of them were putting manual uh, pending orders in and uh, some of them some users are actually using a, a hedge or not a hedge but a grid uh, expert advisor to help with a 20 pip grid since my system kind of requires a 20 pip grid on trades uh, that it sometimes can be difficult to do that manually. So I've recommended uh, using a uh, software called Trader Agent, uh, but there are other free ways to get a, a 20 pip grid uh, through the internet. If you, I think that Steve Pat actually gave you guys um, a nice link to the one that he's using uh, to help with the 20 pip grid. Now he doesn't have the uh, the volatility meter a filter a built in with this, with this ex, expert advisor. But if you actually took the code from this expert advisor, so the one that uh, Steve actually sh shows here, you'll probably be able to um, uh, change the code by <clears throat> going to mql5.com and have somebody change the filter of the 20 pip grid so it works the way uh, uh, that it's intended. So, meaning that only one trade will be pay placed. Uh, per candle, uh, and then if otherwise there's it's a standard 20 pip grid. Um, so check that out and maybe look into that if you want to try to get that implement that vol volatility filter. Look into having it specially coded uh, through the code on this particular EA. So that might be not too pricey to do that. I would guess to change that maybe uh, 10 to 20 dollars to make the change uh, if you have a code to do that. Uh, and, I, and I recommend you do, maybe that's something that you should do as well, Steve, um, to protect you from huge uh, volatile events, especially if you're trading during the news. Uh, all right, so uh, I've had a lot of feedback on the on this thread in the last uh, week or so with a lot of the talk about, the, about trolls. Um, and um, it's interesting because I asked, I had somebody asked me uh, in, a, in a private message, uh, this, these are the, my, all my videos are the ones that you see on YouTube uh, and you can see all the views and the likes, dislikes and the comments and stuff like that. But you always see this one, there's always one dislike, at least one, uh, almost on all of my videos. And it's, it's super weird because this, this one uh, person, I think that it's one of the, one of the trolls that um, that's kind of haunting me. Just because they give me a negative thumbs down on my videos does not mean that they're a troll. I mean, that, that's, that goes without saying. Um, but this person uh, has commented, uh, I believe that this person has commented on some of my other previous videos uh, and also showing my previous history of, of losses uh, back, uh, you know, last year. And uh, so that I th think this user, in his, I believe that he's from Indo Indonesia, um, and I think it's he. Anyways, this uh, this individual uh, watches all of my videos uh, and uh, and makes sure to and does a, a thumbs down on each one. It's, it's super it's super weird. If he doesn't like my videos, why why watch them? <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Uh, it just seems like if somebody puts a thumbs down on a video of somebody, I, it seems like that you would just not watch that user anymore. Um, but at least that's how I how I work. So you know, it, it's just it's it's funny to me. It's not like something that uh, I'm necessarily like upset about or anything like that. But it, it's it, certain users get are, are are pretty strange sometimes that they will uh, really are adamant about uh, being consistent with their uh, with their behavior in somebody's on somebody's YouTube channel. So, 
uh, anyways, just uh, something something funny that I just recently found out that the 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 one dislike that I've gotten since my videos have been posting in February have always been from Indonesia. So, anyways, uh, so things are going well this week overall. Uh, you know, users and YouTube aside, um, the trading is going well, and I have decided to. This, this is my Maverick trading account. I just closed down Maverick, <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately, I don't have any much to show you guys there. But it, the account size is about thirty-eight thousand one hundred. Is the is the total profit at Maverick? And uh, since the broker is actually closed down, I should probably reopen it. Um, but the uh, I'm going to be making a withdrawal from Maverick. I know that uh, you guys have been wanting to see how things pan out with them. Uh, but I will be likely moving my funds over to Trader's Way. Why am I moving my funds to Trader's Way? Well, if they they still are um, a broker that give, can give me good leverage for a U.S. resident. I know they're not regulated, and it's a bit dangerous to use them, and because especially because I, I withdrew my account from LMFX, which is a similar situation with them, and how they are unregulated and there's potential that they could just leave at any moment. Traders Way I feel a little bit more comfortable with than, than LMFX because uh, they ha are a, well, a lot more established. They've been a around a lot longer, I think since 2010 at least. And uh, and so I, I trust my money with them for at least the next while. So the idea is, the, is similar to how I did it with LMFX is to run my account until I reach about 50 or so thousand and then uh, move back to Oanda, where I will stay in, um, likely indefinitely uh, at Oanda once my account reaches about a 50,000 mark. And uh, I'll just uh, trade with a 50 to 1 leverage at that point and, um, and, and go from there. <clears throat> so right now, my account will be, if I was going to add everything up, uh, so my total account size that I will be moving over into uh, Trader's Way, so I have about... Uh, let's see. So 12,800. I'm just going to do round it, round it out. And I, I think I should have about uh, at least 7,000 coming from Maverick. It could be more, but once I make a withdrawal, they're, they're, they're going to take a, a profit portion. Uh, so I'm looking at about 20,000 that's going to be, be moved uh, to LMFX, uh, to uh, Trader's Way. And I will trade that a little bit higher risk. So it's very similar to how I'm trading this right now, uh, where I should receive anywhere from 10 to 20% on this account every single month. So this is my strategy at about two times the risk or, uh, or so uh, from what I'm running it at Duanda. And I, and I feel safe with that because I do have a drawdown cutoff on, on my trades. So yes, I will be making 10 to 20% per month, but I will also have a cutoff in that same bracket. Uh, so a cutoff of drawdown uh, or losses at the in the 20 to 10 to 20% mark. Now that's that seems like it's maybe a little bit high, uh, but I'm okay with that. I do know that I will have losses. I will have to to cut off trades in the future, and I know that's going to happen. I'm not I'm not dumb enough to say that I'm going going to have another profitable nine months in a row like I just had. I've had nine profitable months in a row, and um, I believe that I w won't go another nine months without having to cut up cut losses, um, and so I'm okay with that. I'm accepting uh, ex accepting the the idea that I could have to pull a 20% loss potentially on this account, um, and uh, w when it act has you know 20,000 in it instead of just 12, um, so that's okay. I'm going to grow this 20,000 by 10 to 10 to 20% per month until I have about uh, about 50 or so thousand. So it shouldn't take too long too long to do that. That is if I don't have losses. I would guess uh, it could take me six months, six to eight months. Um, but uh, if I don't have a huge 20% loss that could set me back a little bit, that's okay. It only take me about a month or so, a month and a half, maybe two, to actually make that loss back. All right, so that's the plan. Uh, maybe it's a little bit higher risk, but the idea is to high risk trade or higher 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 risk trade uh, than my standard. 
uh, temporarily. So it's not going to be like a long, uh, a long term thing uh, until I get to the 50,000 um, mark and then I'll cut back and just a smooth sail at that point. Um, so yeah, there's not much to it than that. Unfortunately, Maverick's going to be taking a back seat. Um, and uh, I may come back there at some point. But the reason why I'm moving is just I can make more. I can still make more at Trader's Way <clears throat> with more leverage um, and uh, without having to pay out fees and stuff like that. Um, and as long as Trader's Way is still an, an option, it's going to be hard to move back to Maverick because of that. Uh, but if Trader's Way changes, if I get scared and I need to remove my funds, then Maverick is definitely the be next best option. Uh, and so I would move back there. Uh, but it, that if I do reach my goal of, of 50000 at Trader's Way and I'm able to withdraw it all, I will move to Oanda, which I will stay, and Maverick will no longer be uh, a thing that I do. Um, I will just go with trading at Oanda and uh, and that will be it at that point all right um, so this month so far if you want to add up all the profits from my personal accounts uh, I have I just did that this morning right now I'm at four thousand two hundred dollars so that is my profit for this month uh, so it's been a pretty crazy month so far and again it was because of the Canadian interest rate the dollar uh, interest rate change that they did uh, and, uh, and the positive slippage involved in that so this month 4200 I expect that this account that you're looking at right now so the 12818 should get a deposit sometime this month I don't know how long it's gonna take for Mavericks money to come out uh, but once that's that's in, <clears throat> I should probably be able to receive another, an additional, uh, the rest of this month, I would guess, probably uh, 1000 to 1500 So that's, that's an additional profit to what I've already received of the 4200 uh, if I don't have any losses. So if I don't have to, you know, take... Uh, losses on the account, uh, I would see a, a gains in this area, um, probably with the additional uh, two weeks of this of this month. All right, so it's going to be a, a pretty big month for me, uh, which helps, you know, get me to that goal of uh, 50,000, um, you know, hopefully before the end of the next year, uh, hopefully I reach that goal. So I know that's, I think this video is going a little long, so I'm going to end it now. And, uh, I won't see you guys until after the 19th, uh, so I get back on the 19th of, uh, of this month, and so I likely will come up with an update on the 20th, uh, let you guys know how my trip went, and um, if there was any profit that was made uh, during that trip, uh, which would be pretty cool because I'm on vacation the whole time, I'm not really checking my computer that much, I, although, although I will be checking it at least once a day when I'm out, uh, uh, out of town. And um, we'll see how things are going at that point. See how my withdrawal is coming from Maverick. And uh, uh, it wants in and trying to get that the deposit into Trader's Way. All right, guys, you have a nice rest of the week. And until that time, uh, I hope you enjoy your trading. And uh, good luck with the profits if you're using my system or something like it. And uh, continue to post on the thread since uh, since I won't be uh, here to do much of that. Uh, so I hope people like Steve and the Fat Kumo are able to uh, do some posts, at least on the trades that they may be taking. All right, guys, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye.